Hello and welcome back to iXL tutorial videos. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing more trig practice with iXL R8. So these are just a series of problems that give you right triangles like this. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle as you can see. And you are just going to find the values of the lengths that they are not giving you quite yet. So to give us the hypotenuse here is two screw to two and they ask us to find the length of QR. So for simplicity purposes, I have a nice 30, 60, 90 triangle here with the different ratios found on the sides. Remember we have our hypotenuse here. The short leg is going to be uh, one half of whatever the hypotenuse is. And then the long leg is gonna be the hypotenuse times square root of three over two. So let's just plug our hypotenuse value in here. So our hypotenuse is two square roots of three, and we know that for sure. I'm sorry, two square roots of two. And we know that for sure because the hypotenuse was always the opposite side of where the right angle is. And so we'll come over here. H is actually going to be two square roots of two, okay? And it wants us to find the short side right here. Okay, well, that's just gonna be one half times two square roots of two, right? We're just plugging that in for the H. Okay, one half times two just cancels out to one. So we are left with square root of two. And that's all, so we'll go back. We click uh, square root and two and click. Okay, so we have another 30, 60, uh, 90 triangle here. Okay, and again, they give us the hypotenuse and they want us to find UV, which is now the long leg. So we'll go back. The hypotenuse is going to be four square root of 10, okay? They want us to find the long leg right here, that ratio. So we'll write square root of three over two times the H, which is four square root of 10, okay? We multiply all of those and that is going to be four over two is just two. And then the square root of three times the square root of 10 is the square root of 30. Okay, so that's just gonna equal two square roots of 30. And can we break down the square root of 30 any more than that? No, we cannot. You can break that down into two times three times five, uh, which does not help us. So the answer we have is two square roots of 30. So we'll type in two, then square root of 30. Cool. Okay, so you get the idea. This is pretty much the same problem. Okay, so once you get to a smart score uh, around the 70s, you're gonna start seeing these problems that are not the special right triangles. So this problem right here has a 24 degree angle instead of a 30, okay? And so all we're gonna do is we're going to use our trig functions to figure out what our missing sides are. So uh, YZ is going to be So xz is gonna be our hypotenuse. We wanna figure out what our hypotenuse is, okay? And since we know this angle is 24 and this angle is 90, we know what has to be left over is going to be 66. So this angle is gonna be 66. So we know that sine of 24 is going to be the opposite side, which is gonna be four over the hypotenuse, which is going to be our answer, but that's going to be H. Okay. And so let's use our calculator and figure out what sine of 24 actually is. So we'll go here, go to our calculator and do sine of 24 and then degrees. And that's going to be 0.41. So we'll go back. Okay, so we know it's gonna be 0 0.41 equals four over H. We'll multiply both sides by H. So it's 0 0.41 times H equals just four. And then we'll divide both sides by 0 0.41 to get H by itself. And so four divided by 0 0.41 
0.4 divided by 0.41 is going to be 9.76. So we'll go back here and do 9.76. Now it says round to the nearest tenth, so instead of 7.6, we're just going to do 8, 9.8. There we go. Okay. So you want to use a combination of your trig functions and the calculator to figure out what your missing lengths are. I'm going to skip a level. Okay, and then they just give you decimals, but that's not very different from what we just did. I'm going to jump to 95. And we go back to the radicals here. Okay, that's not a big deal. So I'll do this problem as well. Okay, so now that uh, we have our problem here, we know that this is 90 degrees, this is 62 degrees, and down here is going to be 28 degrees. At least we know that for certain. And now we are going to want to use a combination of our trig functions and a calculator to figure out what HI is. And HI is going to be the long leg, this length right here. Okay, so we're going to want to use uh, a function that corresponds with both the length we are given, the side with the length, and also the side we are trying to find. So we're given the short leg, or we're given the opposite of 28, and we're trying to find the adjacent of 28, which means we're going to want to use tangent of 28, because that's gonna be opposite over the adjacent. So tangent of 28 is gonna be the opposite, which is square root of 21, all over our missing side hi. All right, now we're gonna figure out what tangent of 28 actually is. We'll go back to our calculator here. We go tangent of, let's see, tangent of 28, specified degrees. And that's gonna be 0.53. So we'll go back here. And so tangent of 28 is really 0 0.53. All right, and that is gonna be equal to the square root of 21 over HI. Okay, we wanna get HI by itself, so we're gonna multiply both sides by HI, like so. So we are left with 0.53 HI equals the square root of 21, and then to get HI by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 0.53. So HI, our missing length, is going to equal square root of 21 over 0.53, and let's figure out what that is. So we'll go back to our calculator. We'll do square root, so SQRT, 21, okay? Cool, and then I'm gonna do a space, then a dash over, and we're dividing by 0.53, so I'm gonna do 0.53, and that is going to equal 8.64 or 65, and it's the 10th place, so we're just gonna do 8.6. So we'll come back here, and HI is gonna be 8.6, and there we have it, okay? so. Uh, you get the idea, and this is where I'll stop the video. So study hard and take care, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial video later on. Goodbye.